Hello, welcome to Apple Insights. Before I start the video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to launch this fall, and the rumors and leaks are starting to paint a picture of Apple's next flagship. But will the new features be compelling enough for you to upgrade? So far, we've heard about a possible larger display, a new A18 Pro chip, and hardware changes like a new capture button. And there's a lot more rumored for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, including lots of generative AI features, some of which will be included with iOS 18, and some we suspect will be exclusive to the new iPhone. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a 6.9-inch display. That would make it even bigger than the 6.8-inch Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The iPhone 15 Pro Max gave us the first iPhone with a customizable action button, but Apple apparently isn't done as the iPhone 16 Pro Max and iPhone 16 Pro are both reportedly getting a new capture button as well. The same thing goes for the regular iPhone 16. The button will allegedly feature a solid-state capacitive design with haptic feedback, and it will lie underneath the power button. The capture button will presumably be used to launch the camera and take photos quickly, but its force sensor functionality could open up other possibilities. For example, you could make a more forceful press to record video. Apple needs an encore for adding a Tetraprism 5X optical zoom lens to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And apparently the iPhone 16 Pro series will be getting an upgrade to the ultra-wide lens. Both the Pro and Pro Max are expected to feature a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera, up from 12 on previous models. The A17 Pro chip was powerful, but Apple will need to speed things up with the A18 Pro if it wants the iPhone 16 Pro Max to be the fastest phone around. If leaked Geekbench scores are a guide, the A18 Pro could reach a single-core result of 3,570 and a multi-core score of 9,000 through 10. That's higher than the iPhone 15 Pro series. The iPhone 16 Pro Max should get a ton of generative AI upgrades from iOS 18 which is expected to launch this fall alongside the new iPhones and be unveiled at WWDC 2024 in June. If you haven't heard of Wi-Fi 7, we don't blame you as the technology is still fairly new and the best Wi-Fi 7 routers are quite expensive. But over time, it will make a big difference. Wi-Fi 7 delivers a lot faster speeds along with more channels, which means more bandwidth for your devices. And with multi-link operation, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will be able to send and receive data across different bands and channels all at once. The iPhone 16 Pro Max's battery is going to be bigger at 4,176 EIX Merdar. And this upgrade comes at a good time because our best phone battery life list has devices that last 16 hours or longer, including the Galaxy S24 Ultra and OnePlus 12. Both of these handsets have even larger batteries paired with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, so it will be very interesting to see if the iPhone 16 Pro Max can top our list. A recent leak says the iPhone 16 Pro Max could offer up to 30 hours of battery life, but we'll have to see what Apple winds up claiming and test it for ourselves.